Welcome back to Silent Hill Shattered Memories. In the last episode, we met this person here at the bar. I don't remember their name, but they were attending the Midwich High School uh, reunion. And we talked with them and told them about how we're looking for Cheryl, and they offered to go looking for them using their boss's SUV, I think it was, which is available here at the Balkan nightclub where they work. So we've just come here, Right now they're taking a call from their boyfriend, and then we're supposed to go somewhere upstairs and look for the keys for the SUV. But before upstairs, let's just take a look at this place down here. Ooh, it's such a big location that it's actually getting... Uh, kind of like choppy with messed up audio when I look at certain angles. Message from Dahlia. Board. XO. Dahlia. Yeah, so just to reiterate, my idea that I, or my tentative conclusion that I came to last episode is that the pictures of that school official that we took, uh, of them um, having an improper relationship with a student, aka abusing them, um, although we couldn't see the person's face, I think that might have been Harry, and I think the person that they were abusing might have been Dahlia. That's what I suspect, I don't actually know that. But we seem to be seeing two sides of Dahlia. The one now, when we called them and told them, hey, I'm Harry, I'm, I'm Cheryl's father, looking for them, and then Dahlia reacted in just like disgust and hung up. But then we've got this other one that we've been getting on our phone. These are probably messages from the past. So we have this one, Bored, XO, Dahlia. And then, yeah, we got this one a little while ago. It's a picture they sent. Like my new look. I'm guessing that was sent when they were having a relationship. Wait, hold on. What was that? Did I miss a message? Gossip. Check this out. Oh god. Uh, check this out. Not as innocent as she acts. Hot and soapy for the camera. Who sent this? So this was one of the pictures we took. When we were taking those three pictures to pass through that nightmare. When we were trying to gather evidence of the teacher's relationship with the student, this was one of the pictures. It was a picture of both of them in a car, a picture of both of them just like in a room. And then it was this picture, which was just them. They mentioned gotta nail the sleazy, uh, the sleazy bastard. And then I assume all these other pictures are also from the same person or people. But the other ones don't seem to be about nailing the sleazy bastard necessarily, like this one. Now we know how she got her A staying late after class. That's... That's not nailing the sleazy bastard, that's victim blaming. And then this one, too. This one's sorta, uh, dirty, he's old enough to be her father. Weird, maybe they're just, I don't know, doing both. They wanted to nail the teacher and wanted to blame the victim, too. What a door. I think this is that person's room, maybe. Lots of places to look. Cool. Hey, no looking where you shouldn't. I'm sorry, did you psychically know? Oh, that was Harry. He's a friend. Yes. Okay. Uh can I grab anything? Nope. Actually, I should probably cover up the evidence, huh? Yep, never opened it. <clears throat> Ooh, that's some very, like, 80s stuff. Did 
That's odd. There's something very odd about this box. Is there a certain configuration of open drawers that might, like, unlock something? Come back to that later. Ew. What the hell's wrong with this mattress? Those burn marks or something? That must be John. The boyfriend. Oh, there's the keys for the SUV. <laughs> Can I grab a cookie? Oh, hell yeah! No, I can't. I can only look at them tantalizingly. Cruel. Banana. Paracetamol. that up. Let's close everything. But yeah, what about this? Yeah, I can't think of what to do. I don't see anything in the room that might be a clue for that. Maybe it just isn't a puzzle. I just need to finish my drink. Take a seat. I need something to warm me up in this weather. Things go okay with John? Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna come meet me here once I've dropped you off. This weather, such a pain. Oh, I should have offered you a drink. No, no, it's fine. I'm confused enough as it is. I just want to get going, put today behind me. Hey, everything's gonna be fine, you know? We'll be there soon, and, and then you can see your wife and daughter and- Wife? You're married, aren't you? You're wearing a ring. Are you okay? No, I'm a bit lightheaded. I gotta go clear my head. Dahlia? Michelle? Who the hell is Michelle? Just practicing my signature. We ready to go? Where's Michelle? Funny. Come on, let's get going. I'm going to drive. You, Mr. Harry, are way over the limit. Stop. This is out of control. I came in here with a girl called Michelle. She was going to drive me to Simmons Street. Who are you? Are you on something? I'm Dahlia. Hottest piece of ass you'll ever see in this town. You are Harry Mason. Generally, a fun guy to be with. What are you wearing these for? Stop being a dick and let's get going. We'll get to Simmons Street and see Cheryl. Cheryl? Your daughter? Oh, come on, you're not that wasted. That's why we're in this lousy club. To get the SUV so we can drive up to Simmons Street. That's right, but... It's just... No more craziness. You're freaking me out. What the 
hell is going on? Only people on the road. I guess that means we don't have to stop for any red lights. One way. Screw them. Let's cut up on Kincaid. You're very quiet there, Harry. You're not gonna be sick, are you? I think I'm losing my mind. What? How long have you known me? I don't know. A few years? I don't know you. I can't remember you. Since the car crash, nothing is making sense. <sighs> don't do this to me, Harry. Don't start tripping out on me. When you said you crashed your car, you didn't mention this. Damn, are you in pain? No pain. And I can remember most things, just sometimes. Some details, I, I try to focus, but then they slip away. And I think I'm seeing things. You really don't know who I am? No. Sid and Nancy? Who are Sid and Nancy? My tits? You named them? We're sleeping together? This is a joke, right? A really lame joke. I wish it was. Bridges up. What can we do? Run up to the control room. See if you can get it moving. <sighs> okay. Look, don't flip out on me. No forgetting what you're doing and wandering off. Hey, I got it. I'll be waiting. Jesus. I have no idea what's happening. What I can tell you, though, is that this bridge is pretty faithfully recreated from the original Silent Hill. I remember the little control thing looked uh, just like this. Is there a drill that needs gas on the bottom floor? Actually, there is no bottom floor anymore. Oh yeah, this looks pretty much exactly the same. There's a number. Mr. Capra, I'm in the bridge control room. I need your help. Who is it? Someone at the bridge. Go back to sleep, hon. Oh, yeah, what's the problem? My name is Harry Mason. I need to lower the bridge. I was in an accident and my daughter needs my help. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, sounds like you do need my help. Call me in a minute, okay? You, you're gonna need to go to the control panel. Yeah, first, push the start button. Sir? At least Harry finally said something and didn't just creepily breathe into the phone and then hang up. Okay, push the start button, pull a lever. I think I can figure it out from here. Oh. Dahlia. You sleeping up there? Let's get moving. Okay. Uh. Uh. Huh? There's four lights, but only three levers. I don't think I do understand this. Uh, what's, uh, what's the message? Yeah, Mr. Mason, I guess we got cut off and I can't seem to get through on your phone. Listen, to lower the bridge, here's what you do. Uh, first you push the start button. A colored light will come on. If it's blue, move the center lever. Now, if it's red, move the left lever. If it's green, don't do anything. Just wait. And if the yellow light comes on, move the right lever. You just got to keep doing this until the bridge engages, okay? Best of luck, Mr. Mason. Okay, I wrote those down. Uh, can we just reset? Okay. 
Blue one is center. Red one is left. Yellow is right. Too? Why is this not freaking you out, me not knowing you? This isn't the first time you've acted weird, Harry. What does that mean? Be straight with me! Stop it! If you know my daughter... I know of her! Let's not go there. So what are you to me? Why do you have to be like this? Just leave things be, Harry. Harry? Dahlia! Okay, we need to get out of here really fast. Um, unlocking that is good. Uh, it's not going to open though. Still, is it? It is. We need to equalize the pressure, right? That's how cars work when they're underwater. So, can I roll down the window? And then I'll be able to open the door, I think. We don't see anything to break the glass with. I think we gotta just wait for it to fill up with water. Okay, that could be helpful. Glove box. <laughs> There's nothing in the glove box. Fighting. Huh. Is this where I die? Or is this where I can finally open my freaking window? Or freaking door? I mean, oh no, it's covered in ice. This is where I die. Nasty, but inevitable. Everyone is going to die, even if we like to pretend otherwise. You could die tonight, in your sleep. Why doesn't that terrify you? How would you like to die? No, wait, let me guess. You'd want to die surrounded by family. It's academic, really, as we're only truly conscious of death when it happens to others. Get to my age, you'll have seen plenty of people die. There, one minute, then gone. Okay, game time. There are seven pictures of people on the table. Your job is to tell me who is dead and who is merely sleeping. Divide them up. Left, dead. Right, sleeping. So that was supposed to happen. I was supposed to die? Huh. That was a very awkward sequence. Because I feel like I was drowning for like two full minutes. I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to cut this episode. I might just cut most of that out. I probably will. But uh, yeah, I was like gagging and drowning for like two straight minutes until I did a certain thing. And then it finally was like, oh, okay, now now you die. 
like it was waiting for me to trigger something? Mm, sleeping. Hmm. Sleeping. Uh, they look kind of dead. I mean, they could be sleeping, but I think the arm off the bed thing plus the expression makes me think dead. I mean, hmm, it looks like they've been crying. Been crying and then they fell asleep? I'm not sure what they're on. The chair? Eh, I'm gonna go sleeping. Mm, kinda looks dead. Yeah, they kinda look dead. I don't think anyone would sleep like that in a chair. This is the only one I'm not sure about. Do I want to change this? Let's go with sleeping for that. Yeah. Done. It's just an exercise. Doesn't matter if you were right or wrong. In reality, they were all sleeping. Okay, let's get back to it. Dahlia. A girl. The car went into the river. She drowned. Another crash? This is a different girl? You must have seen the bridge. We went right off the side. Harry, the bridge has been closed since the storm started. You swam. You could have died of hypothermia. My clothes? You were soaked to the skin. I grabbed what I could find here. We need to talk. When I was at the station, I pulled the file on Harry Mason. So... No! No! Oh no. Uh... I'm, I'm pressing buttons that I've assigned to do some sort of action, and apparently it's the right one, I guess. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to keep pressing buttons. Like, literally, I don't know what control is assigned to the buttons that I'm pressing. Uh, we are in Alcamilla Hospital. Judging by the back of the wheelchair. I think it's just taking me away automatically. I don't think I can control where I go, just how fast I go. I think. Seems like it. What a weird sequence. I think we're safe for now. See you.
Okay, the door froze behind me. That's a good sign. What? Dahlia. Oh man, I feel awful. What did we do last night? Where the hell did I leave Christina's SUV? 